Hi Aries, welcome to your general forecast for the end of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, we're going to take a, the ener take a look at the energy around you, whether it be general love, we're going to take whatever comes here. So welcome in, hope everybody's doing well. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. This could be past, present, future. Um, could be something going on with someone around you, could be affecting you. And um, if it's not fitting for you, please don't try to make it fit. It's probably not your reading this time. Hold out for uh, future readings. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. So let's see what's going on with Aries at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or a planet. Let's see what we get for you, Aries. We have Taurus. So you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign. Taurus, or you could have Taurus in your chart. Or know somebody that has Taurus in their chart. Could be anybody around you. If you're not dealing with the Taurus, you don't know a Taurus, that's totally fine. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aries. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are in the description box to your Love in General playlist, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a, send a gift, all that information is below. So let's get an opening message for you. So we have Bro Brolga, I think some kind of bird here, and dance. And eight here is about taking action, travel, movement. And dance is really about being happy and joyous, you know, being in a positive energy, having a positive outlook, raising your vibration, just enjoying life kind of energy. So let's get the energy you're in at this time for Aries, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. And we have healing. And we have 16 here, which is 7. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So something here needs healing, but yet you're in the energy of dance. You may have just gone through a transition in your life or a whole healing process and now you're feeling much more happier at peace um, in a higher vibration just enjoying life and then we have illumination here 10 the 10 is about endings and then, but then one is always a new beginning and we have a cockatoo here with illumination so i just want to read a little bit about illumination number 10 here You are being primed for clarity to dawn in relation to one or more aspects of your life and for stability to once again reign supreme. A time of illumination when truths will be revealed, when energy will flow more easily and obstacles will begin to dissipate. As a guardian of the East Gate and the emissary of the sun, the cockatoo promises a time of mental clarity, clear vision, enhanced intuition, and stability. So I feel like very like healing transformative time like being like spiritually awakened illuminated to maybe some kind of truths or things around you that maybe um maybe something happened or truths came out or something was said or done that maybe gave you closure to something and was enabled you to heal over something um and now you're feeling much more happier and a higher vibration perhaps you know, it could have been something you experienced, something you went through. It could have been trauma. It could have been something. But now something has been illuminated, which kind of like healed the whole situation. Now I just feel like a higher vibration with that dance card. So let's see what's going on for you, Aries. And I'd like to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift. Reached out for personal reading. However, you supported me in the channel. Truly, truly do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. So what do we have here? Yep, we have Page of Cups. So this could be an apology or just a loving conversation or something that, some sort of communication that brings peace and harmony and coming from a loving place, a compassionate place which enables forgiveness. So yeah, so something was enlightened here. 
something was said, there was a truce, there was forgiveness, there was something here. Some sort of communication that brought peace, harmony, balance, um, kind of energy that was able to bring in forgiveness of a situation here. Now, being able to make a judgment call about something and uh, deciding, okay, you know, this is something good, you know, it, it's healing, whatever situation was here. Yeah, bring justice into the situation. Truths being said, balancing out the energies, getting justice. So could have been an apology or somebody, I don't know, giving you recognition that you deserved or something like that. Getting the justice you deserve to a sword. So this is kind of indecisive energy, though. It could be that somebody was indecisive about doing the right thing. And finally, I think with justice card here, somebody finally did the right thing. Ten of swords. So this is a painful, hurtful ending. Could have been an ending in a, of a situation, people, place, thing, friendship, something here. You know, maybe it was a painful ending and someone decided here after being indecisive, you know what, I think I finally need to do the right thing and balance out the karma kind of here and come in with some sort of communication coming from their heart space. Six of Swords. So yeah, going into a much balanced place now. Going into a better place, a more comfortable, peaceful place, leaving all the garbage behind. A lot of Swords here, so I feel like it, there was a lot of mental anguish over something. Maybe something was said or done that wasn't right. And maybe somebody never apologized and caused like the ending of a friendship or something. Could have been a family member. Could have been anybody. But I feel like now it's like you get finally get the apology or something that you deserve. And now it's like, okay, forgiving the whole situation. Maybe now you and this person, place, thing, whatever it is, is going off into a more healing um, energy, leaving all you know this stuff behind. All right, so let's see. Two of Pentacles, so feeling very imbalanced. So I think whatever happened here... Could have been something in a work situation. Doesn't have to be. Um, but whatever happened here caused a lot of imbalance between you and this person. Or this person just juggling around this in their head over and over and over. And finally, maybe guilt or whatever finally got the best of them. And they just needed to set the record straight, apologize, whatever they needed to do here. Yeah, there's a tower moment. So this was either this person, or this could be you. I mean, how, however this resonates for you. But it could be like, this could have been like the argument, the breakup, the shakedown, or something here that happened that caused this whole situation. Only you know what that is. Um, but the tower can indicate like a fight, an argument, or something being realized that wasn't right. Or somebody having a big epiphany, you know, saying, you know what, I have to make things right with this person. Four swords. So we have healing energy here, right in the middle of your spread. So, you know, people going their separate ways, you know, retreating, recuperating, resting, healing, thinking, contemplating. So somebody thought long and hard about this tower moment, something that happened. I'm getting like an injustice with the tower moment. Empress. So somebody finally stepping up here, seeing the value and the worth of the situation. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. This reading is for male or female. So it could be that it could have been a boss, something with a boss figure or something like that. Maybe they did something. Maybe you felt you were deserving of a promotion, a raise or something. You didn't get it. And now, you know, maybe they didn't realize you were overlooked or I don't know, something here. Or this is, uh, you know, this person seeing you as this Emperor, Empress and knowing, you know, you know, this is a good person. I don't want to lose them as a friend, a family member, or whatever here. I see a lot of value and worth in this person. And somebody also, you know, like the emperor, taking the lead, taking charge of the situation. Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy. So we have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. So...
I just feel like somebody finally sees now the value and worth of a relationship, of a friendship, a work relationship, whatever it is here. Finally got that, like, that fire lit within them to do the right thing. So let's see advice for this uh, situation. So we have the chariot. This is about moving forward. You know, a lot of drive, ambition, balance, success, victory. So I do see things, you know, continue to move forward, getting better, being balanced. Knight of Wands. So again, taking action, two cards of action. So two cards of, you know, keep doing what you're doing, moving forward is the advice. Now we have strength. So, you know, having courage, strength, dignity, willpower, tame the beast within kind of energy. And the five of swords. So the five of swords can be about getting ahead at all costs, kind of an ego energy. I kind of get the feeling like, you know, your ego or pride or whatever here is bigger than whatever the situation is. Just let things of the past go. Whatever this five of swords was, what somebody did something to get ahead that wasn't right to you, or they did something that was, they were only thinking of themselves or whatever. You know, you may think of that from time to time, you know, about this person, but don't let it like overrun you and get you back into the place you were before that you're stronger than that energy just to keep moving forward two cards here of moving forward with passion drive ambition um success balance just remain balanced moving forward all right so let's see possible outcome i don't feel comfortable taking that as i didn't ask possible outcome of this situation i feel like you just finally get the peace that you need about a situation getting finally the justice of a situation maybe an apology or an offer that maybe you felt you d you were deserving of finally now it's finally coming through or something like that all right outcome here ten of pentacles so growth abundance being uh, financially set, not having to worry, long-term stability, you know, stable home life. Knight of Swords. So that's an energy of rushing ahead, kind of like frantically. We got one more for the possible outcome. I think you'll be moving quickly. Things are going to move quickly for you. And... Uh, this Ten of Pentacles will come very quickly, whatever this means for you. And much more stable home and family life, celebrations, ceremonies, um, very firm foundation, very stable energy in the home. So whatever is coming into you, I feel like it's going to come very quickly. All this abundance, wealth, prosperity for the long term, it's stable. And a much more stable home life, happy home and family, and celebrating. I feel like whatever <clears throat> you were deserving of or were overseen of or something that happened here, finally the justice is being served to you in this situation. There's forgiveness, there's healing, there's apologies, there's compassionate energy. And now you're getting what you deserve just to remain positive, moving forward. Um, don't let the energy of the past, of that Five of Swords energy, bring you down just keep looking forward and your abundance is I feel going to come in very quickly here so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the three of pentacles so you could be learning something new this could be a promotion a working with others kind of energy six of pentacles so feeling much more balanced now two of cups so you know aligning with those around you you know having that peace and harmonious feeling uh, being in unity with those around you, uh, being in a more loving, compassionate energy, feeling more aligned with yourself also. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords, again, can be that like tricky energy, that deceiving kind of energy. 
But then we have an energy here of, you know, to keep working at what you're doing. At what you're doing. Yeah, leap of faith here with the fool. Four of cups can be about, you know, feeling bored and complacent kind of energy. But I feel like you're taking a leap of faith and you're learning something new, putting in the dedicate, dedicated effort and the hard work. Seven of Swords. I mean, you're always going to have that, you know, people around you that may be, you know, jealous or, you know, they may be deceiving. You know, just to keep concentrate on you, your work. Only the positive energies around you. Balanced energy as you work on something new here. Could be a promotion or something like that you finally get that you overlooked for. So we have Aquarius. Let's see. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Scorpio, Libra, uh, Aries. So Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Leo, Sag, Aries, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is the other signs that I see. So maybe somebody, you know, or maybe you had to bring it to attention, you know, make things illuminated, you know, hey, why was I overlooked or why did this happen? This wasn't right, blah, 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 whatever your situation was, or maybe somehow something was illuminated to the other party, the other situation and made them realize, oops, you know, and now you have this healing and apologies or whatever here or new offers coming in and now you're getting what you deserve. So however that makes sense for you. So let's get some closing messages for you, Aries. I do ask Aries if you're new, you like my style and how I read. Uh, you can check out my channel, and if you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. And also, we just re reached over 10K subs, so I'm planning to do some sort of um, tarot deck giveaway along with a free reading. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be able to do that as I was very sick. This past week with the flu, which really knocked me out for an entire week. So it put me behind in all my readings and my personal readings. So I'm trying to get caught up. Plus returning to my regular full-time job. So let's get some messages for you at this step. So we have Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And we have illumination and attention. So maybe you had to, you know illuminate your intentions your you know what you felt like you deserved or what you felt wasn't right and now things are going in your favor and so we have another card here of home as with the four of wands here and i said much more stable home life so we have home your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants so i think you know finally this situation being resolved um, things are much more healthier for you, you, yourself, your stability, your sanity, your home, your finances, everything getting better here. The arts, express yourself through creative activities. So that could be a message for some. Golden opportunity, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So I felt like whatever opportunity that you were, um, overlooked on or something here is now coming back to you and we have mother mary expect a miracle have faith in your prayers have been heard and are being answered yep so if you prayed you know i want what i deserve you're getting what you deserve so i think everything's going to work out in the uh, long run for you aries okay aries best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.